So hi everyone, we're here in Innisfil, Ontario, in beautiful Canada, and we're gonna be doing one of my favorite drinks, and it is the lemon ginger shot. But we're gonna put a little bit of a twist on it, so make it even more powerful. And we're gonna be using a lot of superfoods, as you can see here. And as Aristotle put it, nature does nothing uselessly. So let's start off with the chaga. So this right here is in its whole form, as you can see. Now the chaga is absolutely phenomenal. It is very, very powerful, extremely high in antioxidants. It, they consider this a medicinal mushroom. So this grows on birch trees and it's actually pretty magical. So when it grows on birch trees, it actually has the capacity to keep the tree healthy and to keep it living a really long life. But if it's taken off and put onto a sick tree, it actually has the capacity and capability to make it better and heal the tree. So when it comes to consumption, it's absolutely phenomenal for us human beings. It is um, full of antioxidants, like I've mentioned, and it is an immune booster, so major immune booster. It's also really, really good if you have an ulcer, so it treats ulcers as well. It is um, great for digestive issues. And actually in Russia, um, since about the 1950s, I've read a couple of articles that have said that they've actually used this as an approved medicine for certain types of cancers. So it is extremely powerful. Um, in Europe, they've been using it for, I would say, quite a few hundred years now. Um, it is native to Northern Canada, hence the reason I'm making this beautiful drink here. And it is also native to uh, Northern China, Russia, Finland, and more of the colder climate countries. So we're here now, we're gonna be using this. As you can see, that was the raw form. You can, in fact, grind it up and actually put it into your smoothies if you wish to consume it in raw form. However, a lot of people say that if you actually brew it and you steep it for quite a long time, certain places say overnight is enough, some places say 24 to 48 hours, um, you can see it's a little more concentrated. By doing that, you're actually unlocking um, a lot of the vitamins and benefits that you get from um, chaga, whereas you wouldn't be able to get that in its raw form. Now, as you can see, I've also made tincture form, which is fantastic. That is even more concentrated, but that should be in lesser quantities. So, we're gonna start off with our very first ingredient, which is going to be um, chopped up ginger and turmeric. So I've already um, washed it, I've sc uh, scrubbed a little, little bit, and with, as you can see, I've got the skin of it on it. Um, I went to a place in Australia, it was a ginger farm, and they had said to definitely consume ginger with the skin on, if it's organic and if it's scrubbed well, you wanna make sure that it's nice and clean and doesn't contain any pesticides or any chemicals. Um, but leave the skin on, it actually contains a lot of the nutrients and benefits. So that's already in chopped form. So we're gonna add that into our blender. Now, it depends the amount that you wish. So if you like it very, very spicy, you can throw in even more ginger if you'd like. Um, it just really does depend on your preference. So once we've done that, we're gonna go on and go over to the lemon. So with lemon, we know how important it is and how fantastic it is in terms of vitamin C content and all that. But it also has many other vitamins and nutrients in there that you wouldn't think. Like for example, the lemon peel, which we're also gonna use, a lot of the benefits are contained in the peel, more so than the juice itself. We're gonna put a little bit of the rind in here and the rind actually has, contains magnesium. It's also really good for bone health. Maybe not the quantity that we, ha that we actually consume, but by putting it in, you will only be increasing the, the benefits of the drink. So once we've done that and we've added a little bit of the rind into the drink, you can add as much as you'd like. It has a lot more of a powerful kick to it. We're gonna be adding grapefruit. So when it comes to grapefruit, very good for digestion, extremely good for um, any kind of metabolism you might have, um, any kind of problems you might have with your metabolism. And also it's really, really good, um, it's an appetite suppressant, so it can help um, with weight loss. So we'll add that in just so it's not so strong. You can also just make it with lemon, ginger, and turmeric, and you get a nice powerful shot out of it. But just by adding the grapefruit in, it kind of um, dilutes it a little bit and adds it a little bit more flavor. Also, if you have seeds in there, as you can see, this is a nice organic grapefruit. You're gonna see there's some um, grapefruit seeds in there. It doesn't hurt to throw one or two in there. Um, it is absolutely wonderful, full of antioxidants, super, super healthy. Also really good for infections. 
very good for any kind of um, gum disease that you might have or anything to do with tooth problems, anything like that. And it's also a nature's antibiotic really. So very similar in certain ways to that of garlic, for example. So now that we've done that, we're gonna add the power house of today. And that is our little bit of chaga that I've pre-brewed in here. So to give it that extra boost, because we already have the ginger, we've got the turmeric. We know ginger is phenomenal when it comes to any kind of um, pain that you might have, whether it's menstrual pain, joint pain, it's really, really good for that. It's very good for the heart, for circulation. Although I'd be very careful with um, using it if you're on blood thinners, because it does get the circulation going. And it's also great for digestion. It's good if you have sore throat, if you have any kind of scratchiness for flu, cold, it's just good for a myriad of things. Turmeric, extremely good for brain health, very good anti-inflammatory as well, and the list goes on. Make sure whenever you consume any kind of superfoods like this, consult your doctor and just be sure that you can in fact mix it with certain medications if you're on any or with any other conditions that you might have. So now that we've got everything in here, let's blend it up. got everything mixed you gotta take a look and see how beautiful this is you can't smell it but I can smell it for you and it's extremely powerful you can definitely set, uh, smell the ginger you've got the turmeric in here now as for chaga it actually really doesn't have a powerful flavor so it's quite nice because you can mix it in so many different types of drinks it has a little bit of a nutty flavor but it's very mild and it's actually really lovely so now that I've poured this deliciously healthy drink, pretty much your cup of medicine for the day, we've got one for you and one for me, so we can enjoy this and cheers to our health. Cheers. Oh my goodness, amazing.